What's up everybody, my name is Anthony Romano and I'm the marketing manager here at Policy Buff. On today's episode of How I Got the Shot, we're gonna discuss portraits in the West Parlor, but before we do, do us and yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button. For this shoot, I wanted to do an editorial that had a dark and romantic vibe. I had an awesome team assembled and I was looking for a space to shoot in. I went on the Ave website and if you guys aren't familiar with Ave, it's kind of like an Airbnb for photographers and videographers to find locations to shoot in. I found the West Parlor that was created by Nashville videographer and director Warren Smythe. The room was definitely giving off the distressed and deteriorated kind of vibe that I thought would complement the romantic idea that I had in my head with my two models. While prepping for the shoot, I was working with my stylist, Emily Gooden of Effortless Style, and I wanted her to pull some items that were kind of high fashion, kind of more editorial to fit what we were going for. And I wanted to keep it in like the jewel tone family because I thought that would complement the space really well. And Emily pulled some really awesome pieces. And then working with the makeup artist, Nisi, she talked to me about some ideas she had and we kind of collaborated on keeping things kind of sleek and simple to offset the deterioration and distress look that was behind the models. I was working with my assistant AJ on the lighting setups and I threw our new hub remote on the top of my camera and pulled up our new Policy Buff app and it was so nice to be able to control everything directly from my phone. I know this is the first time you guys are catching a little glimpse of the hub remote and the app but we're going to dig a little bit deeper in some later videos. For my first look, I wanted to focus on my models kind of being in the center of the scene. I used one of our Link flash units and modified it with my favorite modifier, the 86 inch uh, soft silver umbrella. I also added the diffusion fabric and that gave a softer wrap of light around both my subjects, but the large size of the umbrella helped illuminate a lot of the scene. I had the PLM boomed out in front of my models and placed it about a 45 degree angle. And we know while the link is big and sexy, it totally booms out just fine, so there's no worries there. I also had AJ grab a second link and modified it with a seven inch reflector and a 30 degree grid and placed it towards the model's feet because I felt like it was losing just a little bit of detail so I wanted to add in just a little bit of fill light. I wanted to get as many looks out of this single space as possible, so for this next shot, I had my model Jacob go over near the window and place the PLM outside on the back end. We also swapped out the standard diffusion dome for the CTO warming gel dome, and this provided kind of a natural window light, mid late afternoon glow, and gave a totally different vibe from the previous look. I really liked the directional light that we created that was coming through the window, but it was getting a little dark on Jacob's opposite side. So I had my assistant AJ pop in with the five in one reflector on the white side to provide just a little bit of fill. For the last look in this space, I still wanted to utilize these windows, but on the second set over, Warren had created some like vines coming through and I thought it would be pretty neat to incorporate those with Bree's emerald green dress. So I had Bree hop up on the windowsill and stand there to kind of accentuate the length of the gown and also differentiate her images from Jacob's. Our wardrobe stylist Emily had brought in some branches and roses and even some grass from home to add into the element of this abandoned overgrown space in that corner of the room. I wanted to keep the lighting fairly simple and different from the stuff I had just shot with Jacob and I utilized the LED coming in through the windows and placed my PLM about six feet away from Brie. This setup gave a soft and even look on Brie and the elements that were in the foreground and the LED coming in through the window acted as my backlight. With the elements that Emily brought in, I like to play with things in my foreground of my images sometimes and I utilize the roses that she had tied to the branches to give a little bit more depth when I was shooting some different angles of Brie. Okay. 
I hope you guys found this video helpful. I want to give a quick shout out to my team. It was so awesome getting to collaborate with other creatives and create some really awesome images. And if you guys are feeling frisky, go ahead and give us a follow on Instagram at Policy Buff Inc. And thanks so much for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.